Hi there, this is uh, Alan from Sky System channel. This is my first YouTube video, so please bear with me. And what I want to talk to you about, guy, is the uh, little project I've been working on with Microsoft Access. I love beautiful UI, and I think that people using softwares these days expect to work with at least something that looks like, let's say, 2018 look and feel. Uh, you know, working with uh, Microsoft Access as a database and as a front end, it's not easy to make user interfaces that are wow, I want to work with that. It's more like okay, does the job, thanks. But as a software dev, I want to make these wow applications. Also, one thing I hate about Access Dev is that there is always two, three, four, five ways to accomplish the same thing. That's cool when you work alone in your app, but try debugging someone else's code and or your own code six months later and boom. Okay, here I use a two-way binding data source and there I update manually and oh, where's this data come from? Ah, yeah, sure, it's a new feature in 2000 Visual Fun X. It's L. It's, it's well, you know, it's L. So, uh, this new way to approach access application makes you write code that are way more structured and it's easy to maintain, debug or extend with the UI or UX limited only by your imagination. Okay, before jumping in project, I just want to say that I know there's probably a lot of add-ins and components that can help us with UI in Office. But what I wanted is a complete VBA solution with absolutely no dependency for these corporate clients that want or can't install any component or DLL as well. So I just code a bunch of VBA classes that works like a MVC pattern, web application, with all the stuff like routing, views, controller, models, action result, all managed by a fake MVC engine and a view engine. These are also VBA classes. On top of that, I use plain HTML files as views with some user defined tags so the engine can work with them. You can use any JavaScript library you want or any CSF framework that suits you. There's no problem. I lie about the dependency a bit. The only dependency that I must have are Microsoft Internet Controls and the Microsoft HTML Object Library that are, I think, installed on all Windows computers from the start. So anything new or uh, to install here. So all I have in my access application that concerns the UI is one form with one browser control on that. That's all. All the application is handled in VBA. So here's what the application architecture looks. Uh, we have uh, on our application star, we create a new MVC engine. We make our first page request. And uh, the MVC engine uh, through routing and uh, controller factory uh, create the controller, invoke the action on the controller. You can have a view model and then send it to the view engine, which uh, will render a view and send the client response as a HTML document or a, a node in the DOM. Okay, now and let's see uh, how it works. So here I have my database uh, with only one form and on this form all I have is the web browser. When we start the application, all I do is get the share layout HTML because yes, we can use layout like in MVC. I create my MVC engine set some configuration and uh, make the first request which uh, is the home controller with the index function okay now to work with that we need to create a folder structure 
So in my uh, base folder, uh, you can name it any way you want. I have my access database, I have a CSS folder, fonts, images, script folder, and the most important views folder. This one will contain uh, one folder by controller which can contain many HTML views. Okay, and here's what the layout template looks like. Uh, you can have uh, any CSS you want, uh, you can have any JavaScript you want. Here I have jQuery, date page. Well, you can read, okay. <laughs> and uh, this is plain HTML. The only difference is that I use these uh, user defined tag uh, that uh, this one mean MVC route. Uh, if I click on this link, uh, I want to go to the home controller and the index function. Uh, and I don't have any parameters and uh, this one mean I don't want the event to occur in the browser and here's what the index look like so uh, if I come back to layout you can see here I have a container where all the view will be rendered inside the layout and uh, here I have my index as plain HTML okay and uh, here's what it looks like when we start the application. So I open the form and here I am. I'll, I want. So if I click on the menu tree, anything happened because I didn't bind any event to this button. And now we'll see how to bind these event. Okay, so let's come back in the layout template and uh, with these uh, data MVC route tag, uh, that's how I bind the events. So uh, in saying on controller index2, uh, we will run the index2 function of the on controller. And if we go back in access and look at the on controller, we've got the public function index2 which will return uh, i action result and uh, what I did here is just uh, get a data access object and get uh, a collection of uh, what was in my little table table 1 which only contains only contains these two labels so uh, if I had a Label three here, okay. Uh, all we, okay, all we do is that close that, run the application, and click on the menu two. Here it is. We have our three entries right here. So you can do almost anything you want, like if you were on a website. But all is VBA and. Uh, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, everything you want. So, okay, guys, I, all I wanted to do is bring to you uh, this this project, uh, show to you that we can do very beautiful thing uh, when we are in Access, and uh, when I must use Access, I use this. If I can use anything else, like a real web application, <laughs> I won't use Access. But if I have to use Access, uh, that's what I use. Okay, uh, if you guys are interested in this code or uh, in this new approach to uh, program and the Access, please let me know in the comment. Uh, I, I think I'm releasing this code in the next month uh, with. Uh, more feature so uh, please let me know what you would like uh, if you want more explanation if you want uh, documentation about that let me know and uh, if you like please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to my new channel thank you very much and uh, see ya